Hi, I'm McGill, and this is Things You Can Do in Space Station Silicon Valley. Episode 14, Pinball Blizzard. We're going to do a couple of things in Pinball Blizzard, the first of which is going out of bounds. That takes a while to do since the King Penguin is pretty slow, so while we're watching that process play out, let's talk about the background music. Most of the background music in Space Station Silicon Valley is used in more than one level. I've been putting the level's background music in my videos so far, but since we're going to hear a lot more repeats, I thought I would try to change it up a bit. There are a few people who have done remixes or covers of SSSV music, so I figured I'd try to use their work for levels that use repeat tracks. Pinball Blizzard shares the same track as Honeymoon Lagoon, so in this video I'm using the Honeymoon Lagoon remix created by Video Games HD Remix. Big thanks to them for letting me use their work. They've made remixes for many songs from Space Station Silicon Valley, as well as many other games. Check out their work on their YouTube channel, link in the description. Anywho, to get out of bounds, we simply fly towards this wall from atop the plateau. We end up in a blue area similar to the one in Penguin Playpen. This blue area extends all the way across the side of the level. In addition to the blue area, we can fly higher up and farther out to reach a black out of bounds area, which also extends all the way across the level, and we're going to prove it by walking the whole way across. Oh, and there's this weird texture thingy sitting right at the corner of the level, which is weird, but okay. And yeah, the out of bounds goes all the way from one wall to the other. All the way. So there we have it, another out of bounds. Next up is something I've wondered about for quite a while now. We're going to ride the Penguin UFO. To do this, we're going to do a cutscene skip that lets us move during the UFO cutscene, and then move on to the UFO while the cutscene plays out. This is really hard to do, so I've done a couple of things to make it easier. First, I've activated the cheat code for infinite energy twice. Once to get infinite energy, and once more to flip the screen right side up again. If you'd like a refresher on what this cheat code is, then check out my video on cheat codes in SSSV. Link in the description. The other thing I'm doing is using an emulator and tool assistance. Tool assistance means using emulator features like save states and frame advances to help us do everything perfectly. These techniques are often used to create tool assisted speedruns that beat games at inhuman speeds. I made a tool assisted speedrun of SSSV if you're interested. Again, link in the description. Anyway, with all of that, you can see that we've made it onto the UFO. Hooray! The big question is what happens after that? Well, we need to wait for the cutscene to end to find out. And nothing happened, which isn't very cool, but we lived my dream. And so living your dream is a thing you can do in Space Station Silicon Valley. And thanks for watching. If you'd like to see some more SSSV stuff, feel free to hit that subscribe button. You can also follow me on Twitch to catch me playing this game live. That's everything for now, so sleep tight and good night.